Hello, this is Adam, your prayer guide today. I have the honor of welcoming you to a sanctuary of peace, unity, and faith, known as the International Prayer Society. We are a harmonious family, a diverse community standing shoulder to shoulder, bound by our shared love of prayer. We are here for each other, sharing our joys, our sorrows, our hopes, and our dreams, all through the power of prayer. In this society, we believe that prayer is a beacon of light in the darkest of nights, a soothing balm for the wounded soul, a bridge connecting us to the divine. It is a sacred conversation, a dialogue between you and the Creator, a moment of tranquility in the hustle and bustle of life. As we embark on this journey of spiritual exploration together, I encourage you to become an active part of our prayerful family. You can do this by subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, sharing them with your loved ones, and pressing the notification bell. This way, you'll always stay connected with us, receiving updates about our prayer sessions, discussions, and more. Moreover, we value your prayer requests. We believe that every prayer carries the profound weight of human emotion, longing, and hope, and we treat each request with the respect it deserves. So don't hesitate to leave a comment with your prayer requests. Each day these requests are collected, and as a community, we offer them up to God, carrying your hopes and dreams to the heavens above. In the International Prayer Society, you will never feel alone. Our community is a testament to the fact that those who pray together indeed stay together. We are here, waiting for you with open hearts and open arms, ready to welcome you into our family. So come, join us in this journey of faith, love, and unity. Because here in the International Prayer Society, we believe in the power of prayer and we believe in you. Remember, those who pray together stay together. Let us start our session today by reciting the Lord's Prayer. As we embark on this spiritual journey together, let's turn our hearts and minds towards the divine. In unity, let's recite, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We honor and revere you, O divine, the source of all creation. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. May your divine wisdom and peace fill our world, and may we strive to embody your will in our daily lives. Give us this day our daily bread. Provide us with what we need, O Lord, to nourish our bodies and our spirits. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Teach us the strength of forgiveness, and help us to extend this grace to others. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Guide us away from paths that lead to harm, and protect us from all that is not of your love. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. In your infinite wisdom and power we place our trust and surrender. Amen. Opening. Our Lord is a forgiving and loving God. When we think about forgiveness, one of the first things that come to mind is the grace we receive from our Heavenly Father. His forgiveness is like a river that never runs dry, always ready to wash away our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness," writes John in his first epistle, chapter 1, verse 9. What a comforting thought, isn't it? His forgiveness is not a one-time event, but a continuous flow of mercy and grace. Think back to the times when you've stumbled and fallen, made mistakes, and felt the burden of guilt and shame. The Lord, in His infinite mercy, has forgiven you. He has lifted that burden off your shoulders, wiped away your tears, and welcomed you back into His loving arms. Isn't that a testament to the forgiving nature of our God? Now, let's shift gears a bit and talk about God's love. His love is as vast as the universe, as deep as the ocean, and as high as the heavens. It's a love that knows no bounds, a love that is unconditional and everlasting. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life, declares John in his Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16. God's love is not just an emotion, but an action. It's a love that sacrifices, a love that gives without expecting anything in return. It's a love that sent Jesus to the cross for our sins, a love that reaches out to us even when we are far away. A love that never gives up on us, no matter how many times we fail or fall short. Let me share a personal story with you. There was a time in my life when I felt lost and defeated. I felt like I was in a deep pit with no way out. But in my darkest hour, I felt God's love enveloping me, lifting me out of that pit and setting me on solid ground. It was a tangible, undeniable experience of God's love that changed my life forever. God's love is not just for me or for a select few. It's for everyone. It's for the one who feels unlovable, for the one who feels forgotten, for the one who feels lost. It's for you, 
and it's for me. It's a love that breaks down walls, bridges gaps, and brings healing and restoration. It's a love that forgives, a love that accepts, a love that transforms. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 38 Paul writes, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That my friends is the magnitude of God's love for us. Closing. Remember God is love and he forgives us always. Prayer is a powerful tool given to us by God. Let's take a moment to truly understand the magnitude of this statement. Picture this. You've been given a key, a key to a door that leads to an infinite source of comfort, strength, and wisdom. That key, dear friends, is prayer. The Bible in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. This scripture is not just words on a page, it's a living, breathing testament to the power of prayer. I've seen the impact of prayer in my own life. There was a time when I was at the edge of despair, feeling like the walls were closing in. But when I fell to my knees and let my heart speak to the Lord, I felt a peace that surpassed my understanding. Suddenly the walls weren't so close, the darkness wasn't so overwhelming. Prayer had brought me peace. And it's not just me. Our prayer community is filled with testimonials of the power of prayer. I remember the words of a dear member of our community, Mary. She shared her story about how she prayed for her son who was struggling with addiction. Day in, day out, she knelt in prayer, offering up her fears, her hopes, her love to God. And then, one day, her son came home, ready to seek help. She cried tears of joy and said, it was the power of prayer that brought my son back. Prayer is also a source of healing. It's not just about physical healing although that is a part of it, but it's also about emotional and spiritual healing. It's about finding wholeness in the Lord, about letting His love seep into the cracks and crevices of our brokenness, making us whole again. In the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16, we read, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This scripture reminds us that our prayers do not fall on deaf ears. They reach the heart of God and move His hand in our lives. Prayer is also a source of strength. In moments of weakness when we feel like we can't go on, prayer can be the lifeline that pulls us through. It can give us the endurance to keep going, the courage to face our fears, the resilience to bounce back from setbacks. And lastly, prayer connects us. It connects us to God, yes, but it also connects us to each other. As we pray for one another, we are woven together in a tapestry of love and mutual support. We become a community, a family, bound together by the power of prayer. So I urge you, embrace the power of prayer. Use this key that God has given you. Open the door to peace, to healing, to strength. Pray for yourself, pray for others, pray without ceasing. Never underestimate the power of prayer. We are here to pray with you and for you. You see, prayer is not a one-way conversation. It's a dialogue, a beautiful exchange between you and the divine. And let me tell you, there's no prayer too big or too small for our Lord. He hears them all. Now you might be wondering, how can I make my prayer heard? Well, that's where we come in. We at the International Prayer Society are here to help carry your prayers to the heavens. We're here to join you in your prayers, to strengthen them with our collective faith. So I encourage you to leave your prayer requests in the comments below. It could be a prayer for healing, for strength, for guidance, or for peace. It could be a prayer for a loved one or a prayer for the world. No matter what it is, we want to hear it. We want to join you in your prayer. And let me assure you, every single prayer request that is left in the comments is added to our daily prayer list. Each day we lift up these prayers to God. We stand in solidarity with you, echoing your prayers with our own voices, believing in the power of collective prayer. Remember, there's no limit to the number of prayer requests you can leave. If you have a new prayer in your heart each day, leave it in the comments. Each day it will be added to our prayer list and given up to God. We're here to pray with you every step of the way. Your prayers are not just words, they're echoes of your heart, and they're heard. They're heard by us, and more importantly, they're heard by God. So don't hesitate. Make your prayer known. Let us join you in your prayer journey. Your prayers are important to us, and they are heard by God. As we conclude our session today, let us once again recite the Lord's Prayer. Friends, let's join our hearts and minds together as we echo these sacred words. Please, if you feel comfortable, repeat after me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Let these words remind us of our divine lineage, of our celestial home, and of the respect we owe to our Creator's name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. This is our plea for harmony, for the alignment of our world with the divine order, for the realization of heaven on earth. Give us this day our daily bread. This is our humble request for sustenance, for the strength to carry on, and for the grace to recognize and appreciate our blessings. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In these words we seek mercy for our missteps and pledge to extend that same mercy to others. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Here we ask for guidance, for the wisdom to avoid the pitfalls of life and for protection from all that would seek to harm us. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And with these final words we acknowledge the eternal sovereignty, might and majesty of our Lord. This prayer, my friends, is a compass for our souls, a blueprint for living and a testament to the power of faith. Let it guide you, comfort you and remind you of your divine connection every day. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Until next time, keep praying and keep believing. Amen.